Hi, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and welcome to the Polaris XL build project. Part 1. And so to start with something easy, just to get practice using the glue, I would suggest making the floats. Now what you do is you get six pieces. Six pieces right there that you get off your Depron board. And then what I like to do is take a cardboard box, or you can use a block of wood, something so you can hook this little piece around it, like that. And then when they stack up, it'll keep them nice and even. Okay, so I put my foam up against the, the first piece, up against the box. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put some medium, I guess it's medium CA glue, right here. And it's foam safe. Make sure you use some foam safe. Uh, because foam safe is the only thing that really works with this Depron. If you try to use the regular super glue, the Depron will melt. And then you'll have a mess. And you'll have to cut out new pieces. And we don't want to do that. So just a little around the edges, a little in the middle. Something like that. And then you take it and make sure it's lined up just like the other one. And you have a few seconds if it's not right. So you can kind of do this, push it up against there, make sure they're lined up together. And then just press down on them and hold it for a few seconds while it dries. Then just go ahead and repeat with another piece. Just going around the edge. This just kind of seals it off to make sure no water gets in there. And then a little in the middle for strength. You could probably use other kind of glue, but uh, you could use some spray glue as long as it didn't dissolve Depron. Now, putting it back on and making sure everything's even. It's up against the box and everything's even. And we'll just keep repeating that for all six pieces. And then we'll be done. Okay, working on the last piece. Just give it a coat. Not a coat, just around the outside as usual. Try not to glue my fingers to it. A little in the middle. And back to the box here. Oh, I'm glad that landed the right way up. Okay. Put it like that. Press it down, and now we have the second float. So there's both floats done. So next, so next we have to glue all 12 nose pieces together and keep them straight. So I think the important thing on these nose pieces is we have to get rid of this little piece of foam the mold foam that sticks out on the bottom. I guess it's not mold foam, but the little piece that was joined to the main piece of Depron. we got to remove that so that it's good and flat on the bottom. You could use sandpaper or just an exacto. Just make sure it's not there because what we want to do, the most important thing, is make sure all the bases are even because the back of this is what's going to fuse to the plane, what we're going to have to glue on. We want that surface flat. So that's what we want to do first, is make sure all of these are flat. So what I came up with was a right angle right here. I just taped a piece, or duct taped a piece of uh, plastic on the back of that box. And that'll act as a corner to hold them in line one way, and then I put this against the box to line them up the other way. So they're kind of cornered there. All right, so now we can start gluing them together. So basically the same process as before, just put a little glue around the outside edge, a little in the middle, and then place it on top of the other one. And there's just a couple of seconds to get it all lined up, like that and I'm pushing it into the corner and holding it against the box at the same time. And we'll just repeat that process until we get them all done. Okay, going for the last piece here.
and glue around the edges again a little in the middle put this back in the corner and yeah I wouldn't really recommend using your exacto cutting board for this project I just needed something dark for the background for the video but yeah you could get glue on it okay putting on the last piece just keeping it in the corner there and up against the box and there we are all done we could paint them if we wanted to and maybe use some of the uh, Krylon H2O paint to paint them so after the glue's dried Depron can be sanded and uh, I found that you have to sort of start out with some rough sandpaper like this to sand it maybe just put a little curved edge on it where you want it and get rid of some of the lines and just keep doing that and then you can finish it off with some fine stained paper like this sanding block here you can get these at the hardware store and just finish it off so a little bit of sanding and you can get these shaped the way you want them doesn't have to be too much but just a little bit I think this is probably another easy section to start with just to get used to the gluing and we're also going to put in a spar so this is flat carbon fiber that comes with it see but I'm going to use some foam tack it's kind of a like a shoe glue it stays clear unlike uh, welder glue which kind of turns yellow after a while so that's why I'm going to use foam tack instead of welder and then you'll need some tape either some masking tape or you can use some expensive stuff like frog tape or some of that cheaper blue painters tape this is on wax paper now so it doesn't stick to anything like that and now I'm going to pull the spar back out and put some foam tack on it, both sides if you're using epoxy you might have to sand the spar to uh, make it uh, the epoxy stick to it but I don't need to do that I'm just going to use the foam tack okay pulling out the spar like that and now I'm going to apply some foam tack all right just playing applying a little foam tack doesn't take a lot just put a little on both sides okay now we're going to stick it into the slot so let's just Put one end in like that and the rest is easy because it's just going to want to go in that hole there's no other place for it to go all right push it down in there like that and remember this uh i'm using the towel to wipe it remember this depron is not perfectly flat at all So now we're going to put a little bit of tape on it. Again, we already have a piece of tape on the back, as you remember. So I'm just going to put one on the front. Probably could use three pieces. Just to make sure. Squeeze it together. See if it's sticking through the back here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's just flip it over. All right, we'll go ahead and put the weight on it. Right there, that keeps it flat. And that foam tack will take a while to dry, so we'll let it go ahead and dry. But in the meantime, we'll put this little piece on. So let's just go ahead. Put a little foam tack on. Let's get up here a little closer. All right. So we'll put that on right there. And I like the way this stuff, like I said, dries clear instead of turning yellow like some other glues. Now, in this, we have the opportunity here to just kind of pull it apart a little bit 
and let it tack up and then we'll push it back in and put a weight on it. Okay, I waited about three minutes for it to tack up and now I'm just going to push it together and put a weight right there. can be anything you got handy. There we go. Okay, now we'll just let all that dry. Should be pretty good. Fortunately, the factory has cut these things pretty precisely, so it should be straight. You can see right there. Looks straight to me. If it isn't, it's their fault. So in part two, I'm going to show you how to laminate the vertical stabilizer and put on the elevator, how to hinge that on there. And uh, just so we can follow along what's going on here, this is actually going to be an FPV style plane. And I've got the uh, long range antenna right here on the back, so that's why that's sticking up. And the easy UHF receiver up here. So. This horizontal stabilizer actually goes right here eventually. Once you get the motor and all the wires in and the servo, it'll eventually sit right like that on top of there and has to be glued on. And then there's also a vertical stabilizer that goes right in this slot right here like that. So we'll work on that in part two. Here, Mike.